Windsurfing, you know, back in the day, Europe was crazy. I mean, they're, everybody had a board on their car. It was a funny group of people. They were mavericks. They were people who were not uh, afraid of making the fools of themselves. People thought we were crazy. They'd look at them, they didn't know what they were. Nobody really bid on it. It was just a, a, um, a subculture, you know, like a subculture of, of a community of people. Before foot straps and all that, windsurfing was like a family, just a family sport. I mean, in the whole world, it was the fastest growing sport. And I was uh, one morning having coffee on my deck and looking out and these two windsurfers sailed around the Black Rock Point. I ran down to the beach and I said, what's this? And they said, this is windsurfing. And it was Mike Waltz and Matt Schweitzer coming to work. And that was probably the very first change that the windsurfing sport ever saw was the harness. That was the beginning of change being a constant. It turned completely, you know? Totally, wow, you know what I mean? You know, it's like, yeah! You know, you had a brand new board every week and a new sale every month. And, you know, the, the industry was classic. You'd have to buy this, and six months later, you'd have to buy that. That one's completely outdated, and you know, it was crazy for a while. And everything got stronger and lighter and uh, more refined, and, and we were able to start doing, you know, maneuvers that we were just sort of used to only do with a little toy. And we were really pushing it to a really high level. And there we were, we just broke a speed record. Wow, this was huge. And now everybody's looking at 50 now. And it's really amazing what's happening. I thought to say why I'm so fast. I think many reasons is because I'm big, I'm strong. I like going fast. I like really charging it to the maximum. All the guys that get the top, they're talented. Whether it's in their mind, their body, their, their way of thinking, it's all artwork. The bigger reward is to walk that straight path, and work hard with the gift that's been given to you, and watch it reach its full potential. It was huge. It was just massive and there's no way to get out at Hokipa when it's like that because you know it's all closing out. It was kind of like playing in the land of the giants you know there was nobody on the shore nobody knew we were up there and it really felt like we were right on the edge of the earth. It's a great time for the kids you know to really um, you know, get into the windsurfing. Do it because you love it. Do it for something that it's, it's something you want to do and to express yourself. It's a, it's a great thing to do. I think windsurfing is the most futuristic sport. It's just, uh, it's just amazing what you can actually do from just wind, something you don't see. <laughs> because the sport has a lot of draw. There's still millions of people worldwide that are following it, that are loving it. I, I have passion for the sport. I really do. I, I love it. <laughs> it's the coolest thing ever.